Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Wheel of Fortune app from the ManyJet App Store into your own flow. Uh, when you have finished, you can just uh, use an action, include the Wheel of Fortune app in your flow anywhere you want, and it will make a great experience for your users and it will definitely increase the um, end user engagement with your chatbot. So let's get started. So if you want to get started, what you do is you select the app in the ManyChat App Store and you will either click a button or receive a link. And this screen that you will see here um, will display on your screen. So what you do is you click install and after you did that, you get a selection of all your ManyChat pages um, and then you select the right page and then you get the next screen. So here I selected my page that I'm going to use to show you how this works. And you click go to app settings. Then this window will appear where you have to fill in these two fields. You can fill in your ManyChat API key, which you can find at your settings, and then the API tab right here, if you can see that, and then you get your key. I will enter mine right here. And as for this field, if you bought a membership for the uh, app, you can enter your license key right here, or if you just want to try it out, you can just enter the free 50 right here which will grant you 50 runs of the uh, spin the wheel so you can have a look and if you decide to keep using it you can always still get the license key so once you did that you click save which will bring you to this field right here then you click into your automation and then you can create a flow and if all is well what you get in the app description is also a link to this sample flow so you can just use that one it will be named spin the wheel if not you can also still do it yourself but for now I'm going to show you how it works with the sample flow that will be provided to you As you can see, this is the short but effective sample flow. It does a check at the beginning of the flow if there has been a result already, which is this tag. I will show you in a minute how you can uh, enter that into the app settings. So it will check if it has been used already and if not, it will send you to the spin the wheel. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And here you have the magic section, which is the action. Now, I assume you know how an action works. You just click on this section right here, and here are the actions. When you click this button right here, you will get a screen like this. So, I will show you how it works on our end right now. This is the action, spin the wheel of fortune. I will show you, um, let me remove this one for a second. Yes, I'm sure. And now I will add the same action again. And from this action menu, you go all the way to the bottom and then you will see spin the wheel. You just select that one and it will be there again. I'm going to put that on top. Click the select action. You can just click this screen right here. Let me remove that one, yep. So just click that one again, and now you get to this screen with these settings. Now I'm going to show you what this is. The offset, that means by default it's 40%, which means it's almost uh, offset by 40% to the top. So 
it will almost be half the Wheel of Fortune, which is ideal if you use a small web view window to display the Wheel of Fortune in. I will show you that later on in the demo. What colors do you want to use? Do you want red or black striped uh, sectioned in the wheel, yellow or black, or random, which will just select any color uh, possible and does that randomly. So I'm going to do that one. Right here, the segments, it will mean I have some prepared already. Let me copy paste those and show you how that works. You just enter your own values right here and just disregard all the other things you see when you click on it. Just enter all the slots and each section, which is comma separated, it represents a section in your Wheel of Fortune. So it's really dynamic. You can just enter four here or 16 or how, well, just how many you want. Um, so we entered some here and then you click this one, which is important because that will save it as a string value. Then you have this custom field. We use a custom field, which is, let me go check this one, web view URL. Is this the correct one? Nope, it's a winning promo code. This is the one that you need. And the name of the tag, I showed you that earlier when you entered the flow. I will show you that again in a second, which is spin has result, which means the user has already used it once. Then you scroll a little to the bottom. The flow you want to return to, well, this is I don't think you can see that. Let me, nope, I can't show you that because that section of my video is hidden. But in the address bar, you will see a section which is called content 2020-07, in my case, because that represents the date, uh, 2211, blah, blah, something like that. So look for that. If you click on here, you will see all your flows in your account. And I will just, use that 202007 and as you can see it will show up here click on it and it will be saved for you then there's this response mapping which means what custom field do you want to store the web view url all this information above will be encoded into a web view URL, which you will use and which will be unique for each of your users. So let's go and select ours, which is spin wheel web view URL. Once this is finished, you click save and publish. And as you can see, it will take you to the next step, which is the web view. You will see here that the value of the go to website URL or address is the custom user field we just mapped from the action settings. This is actually all that there is to it. Now you can run your demo, which I will show you in a second and then it will be clear that the spin the wheel is working just fine it's really easy this video is like eight minutes but that is because i just want to uh, show you all the steps um, i did put some extra information right here because you can of course expand it any way you like you can double check if the winning promo code, which is the entry from your Wheel of Fortune. So suppose I win a free pizza. Um, once the web view closes, you will be sent back into this flow. And the 
condition in the beginning will check if there was a result. If so, it will take you there and it will tell you what you have won. Maybe you want to create some sections where the user doesn't win anything. And then you can, for example, put an extra step in here, do a check with your Google Sheets or whatever, where you look up the exact same values as you put in the action right here. All these values, which are comma separated, you can put those in a Google Sheets, each on a new line. And then at the beginning of the flow, just check if the entry does actually exist and give the user some extra information or only supply them with extra information once you get their SMS or email information. So that's basically how it works. There is one last thing which is rather important, otherwise your web view doesn't work really well. And that is that you have to whitelist our domain and I will tell you which one that is in the description of this app. But as you can see, I have uh, gone to the settings and then the growth tools and the URL you have to add is api.chattemplates.com. That's the one and maybe even if that doesn't work, also just add chattemplates.com and you can remove this one. So these three right here are what is needed for your web view to work correctly. So this wraps up this little video about the spin the wheel. I hope you'll have a lot of fun with it as do your end users. Thank you for using it. And if you have any suggestion, please let me know. Bye bye. So I still owe you the video for the actual flow inside your messenger account. So as you can see here on this screen, on the left side is my phone. Um, you can see this is the real step, the first step, sorry. And I will just go and run this flow. I haven't tested it yet. So this is all just um, by setting it up as we just showed you in the video before this one. This is the unique URL, which is created by the, oops, sorry. Let me take the right screen, hold on. I mean this one. This creates the unique URL and this click spin and win is what you see right there on the phone screen. So I will click, click spin and win, and this should open up my web view with the spin the wheel. Yep, there it is. And as you can see right here, it does show it fine on my screen. It must be some resizing issue. Let me just fix that for a second. Okay. Okay, this is a little better. Again, it's fine on my phone. It's just in this video um, software that doesn't show it the right way. But nonetheless, let me just click spin the wheel. And as you can hear in my background here, it's, I'll just turn it off, $5 off. And that will show me that one. It says one moment, it will automatically close this window and then continue to the flow. If everything is set up right, yep, there we go. And this, what you see there on screen right now, is this step from here. So as you can see, I didn't test it, I just set it up and it works right out of the box. This is one of the entries that we filled in as the action fields for the spin the wheel and for this uh, demo we can just click restart let's just do another one so you can see how it works if i do another one so totally go 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 and there we go spin and win 
I will show you the entries that are here like free dinner free soda those are all the entries that we filled in on this section right here let me those are these entries right here so that's uh, exactly the way it works if you change this information right here it will show you different parts of the wheel let's just spin this one again and oh wow well, that's stupid i won five dollars off again um that's uh, just a coincidence i was hoping to win something else but let me just try it one more time then because i just don't think five dollars off is enough so here we go 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 again click spin and win open the web view and you can just change this if you want to have a bigger web view you just change the offset which is 40 percent right now as you can see it will just move it up 40 percent you can all change that it's whatever your personal preference is spin the wheel there we go again and i'm just hoping to not get five oh you gotta be kidding me never seen this happen let me just try this again okay people i just did that really quick let's just try it one more time this is third time is a charm right so please oh please give me more than five dollars off 15 percent well that's better okay well now you get the hang of it this is how it works and if people just click uh, this again they will get a notice that they have already used it and you can just put a timer on there to reset the tag that checks for the that's this tag right here you can just put a timer on there and invite them to try again after 12 hours or 16 hours just try to stay within the 24 hour window so you can just milk them for whatever how many times you want it so i hope this makes it um, obvious how it works i wish you all the best and have fun using it bye bye